Now, quite often when you are creating a model, there's a few things that you're going to need alongside of that. First of all, it's a migration. Second of all, you probably want a model factory for that model, maybe to just generate a load of fake data or to use in testing. Now, if you're not too sure about model factories, if you just come over to the database section here over in factories, we already have a user to find out. And this uses the faker library to generate fake data. Now, you can either run this to actually generate a uh, set number of fake users or any other model or you can use this in your tests to quickly new up a user to test with maybe to sign in with now we're not going to dive too much into that because we cover that in other courses but what we are going to look at is some new additions in Laravel 5.5 which pretty much makes creating all of these things together very very easy now i'm currently working with laravel 5.4 here and you may already know that we can use php artisan make model we can create a new model here and we can use an m flag now what that will do is not only create the model for us and the scaffolding for that it will of course create the migration as well so we can just start to fill this out now i'm going to quickly switch over to laravel 5.5 and we're going to see what else has been added in here to make our lives a lot easier. Okay, so I've just switched over to Laravel 5.5. Let's delete the post model and the post migration and let's come over and run PHP Artisan and let's just go ahead and run this on its own for now just to see what commands we have here. So under the make section here, you'll notice that we have a new make factory command. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that. So PHP Artisan make factory and let's go ahead and create a post factory or in this case, we can just give the singular version of this and it will append on factory for us. So that's gone ahead and created an entirely new file, which is great uh, with this particular factory to find out in here. So we have a post in here. You could kind of group these if you wanted to, you know, you could stick everything in model factory, but the fact this is on the command line, of course, makes it a lot easier rather than having to come in and copy and paste everything. Now let's just go ahead and get rid of this and come back over to the example we were looking at earlier when we use PHP Artisan make model. Let's go ahead and run the help flag on this and see what we can do. Now, not only can we pass the M or migration flag in, we can also pass the F or factory flag in, which will also generate a factory for us. So in one simple command, we will generate the model, the migration and a model factory as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's go ahead and just try this out very quickly. I'm sure you can guess exactly how this looks, but let's go ahead and make a model here called post, pass the M flag, pass the F flag, and it looks like I will need to do a composer dump for the migration. So we'll just kind of ignore that for now, but the post factory is in there, the post is in there, and the migration would have been created. Uh, just as a kind of side note, if you do ever run across this error after deleting a migration and regenerating it, you just want to either run composer dump auto load, potentially with the optimize flag or run PHP artisan optimize, but that's the problem with that there. Okay. So that is pretty much it. We have the ability now to generate model factories on the command line, as well as alongside our models when we generate our model and our migration as well. So really, really quick to do.